dear students and working accountants so welcome to my smart tally prime youtube channel my name is baburao from hyderabad so before proceeding to our topic today so there is one advice to you so you just simply you decide whether you want to become simply a data entry operator or you want to become a very good accountant and that means do you so decide do you want to learn some little knowledge or you want to learn when i mean little knowledge and become a data entry operator or you want to gain expert knowledge and to become an expert accountant or respect or perfect accountant so you want to decide so if you want to gain expert knowledge and become expert accountant so just you follow the videos in my channel in the same order in which i uploaded so i am in a systematic way i uploaded the videos you follow the same systematic way you will learn learn or you will gain very good knowledge okay now now we'll proceed to our topic today in this video our topic is day book part 2 so in the previous video in the day book so we discussed about what is day what is day book and what are the uses what are the different options and different configurations we can view the reports in the we can view the report by configuring by different options by con configurations the i mean the way we can see view in different ways the reports that is the report of the day book report you can view in different ways in this this today's topic it is now here we will use the data data means the transactions recorded in the day book the transactions recorded in the vouchers all shown at one place in this day book by the using different configurations and different options how to use these options and configurations with the with regard to the data in the i mean cash in the day book that's what this is our this one and the previous video see i will share one minute i will share the screen share i will share this screen see here this is the that is called day book tricks alter add insert duplicate cancel and delete cancel and delete actually okay before cancellation we have to discuss about delete and then cancel the vouchers in the day book this is part 2 with this day book will be completed and now we will go to the tally prime see here we selected already a select a company first we go to the select a company page in that i selected this page and entered so i entered the tally in the company is loaded in the tally prime that is the gateway of tally <clears throat> so i told you already to view the table the due book report will be available in three places in the in the three places in the tally prime so okay so one is under the in the gateway of tally under the head transactions after vouchers the second one is day book here the short key is k and another one is in the display more reports if you click in the accounting heading this is a day book after the trail balance day book here the keyword key is t so in the gateway of tally it is k here it is d instead of coming see here instead of clicking this and coming to this and clicking day book or d say directly in the gateway of tally just we can click k you can click k so these are two places and one more place is so when you are working in some place if you want to see the day book go to function is there so alt g or go to in that common reports in the common reports there is day book there also we can see there also we can see the day book okay so these are three places and now we will go to day book the by pressing k or by clicking day book you can click the day book or you can click k so here i told you already the last entry date date of the the in, date of the last entry that is when you are working what are the entries we are making so that day only it will show the report by default so that means here in the gateway of tally current date or date of last entry current date both will be same current date and date of last entry will be the date and day book will display the report of that date only and we learned already if you want to see any other date so by using f2 you can you you can see the report for any date for any date similarly 14 like this you can see by using f2 so 
that if you want to see for the I mean the report for a period from one date to another date, from for example from May first to July first. So in this case, for the period we have to use Alt two, Alt F two. We have to use Alt F two. So one five two. 117, for example, 15217. If you click, see from 1st May to 1st July, all the total, all the transactions, the report we got. Similarly, clicking Alt F2, so 1st first first July to 31st July, 1st July to 31st July. 1st July to 31st July also, if you click, so here, the, for that month, for one month, one month, one week or one day, whatever it may be, you can see, for the period you have to use Alt F2, for a single date, you have to use F2, so like this. Suppose if you want to see the report from the beginning of the year till the date of last entry, in that case, use Alt F2 and you have to remove the dates. We can type 147-2022, 1422, you can click. And the last date, we have to see what is the last entry date. Instead of all these things, simply remove the dates from date and to date. Both the dates you remove. For removing that, there are two options. One is escape. See the first one I am using escape. So from date is deleted. And then come to the, I mean, enter, come to the second one. Here I will use spacebar. Spacebar or escape, in both the cases, it will go up. That is the date will be removed. Now enter, see here, from 1st April, from the beginning of the year, from 1st April to 31st August. 1st April to 31st August, we have seen. Okay, all this report we got. So this is the way of beginning. In this, in this report, in this report, see on the right button bar, we used all the options. Column, column show profit, that is show profit and column only for sales and basis of value and then ch change view. In this change view, we have seen the what you call uh, extract reports and all this. We have seen the extract reports and all this and change view. And after that exception report, uh, we just touched it. Control J. If you click that and sh show more, show inactive, in that there are different vouchers. These vouchers we cannot understand now. So when, when the time comes, whenever it is necessary, then we will come to these vouchers, only one cancelled videos, I mean vouchers. This voucher, one which only, that is, uh, you will get it in this topic. So when we are doing that, then we will see that. Okay, so this one only we can view now in this topic and all others, when we are discussing about them, there we can see. Okay, now, so now we will go to this today's. So in this one, I told you already, I already told you, see, in this, first of all, we can say in the day book, so we selected all this and all these things. And in this, our topic is, our topic is uh, how to alter, first one, alter, add, insert, duplicate, the cancel and delete, this one. First one is alter. So in this case, See here, we that the total report or one month or anything, one month or full report it may be. If you want to delete, if you want to delete, how to how you will delete, you know, deleting. Sorry, sorry, deleting, not deleting. Alteration, sorry, all deleting at the end. Alteration. So you can go to any voucher, you select that voucher, select the voucher and click. And now click the voucher creation. See, accounting voucher here. When you are creating, it will be called as accounting voucher creation. Once it is created, whenever you open that, we will open it to view or to make some changes. That is, it is called accounting voucher alteration. Second name is during the entry. It's accounting voucher alteration. In this case, if there are any mistakes, we can rectify. That is, we can alter them. For example, this is the 30 inch TV. Okay. Suppose if it is 20 inch, by mistake, we entered 30 inch. So we can make it as if you look, if you click, if you click, if you press space bar, the details, I mean, stock items, list of stock items will come. So this is 20, for example, we can make it 20. Now it is 30, already it is 30. If you want to make it, we can make it 20, whatever it may be. We can name the, change the name of the stock item. 
Then quantity, it is two numbers. Suppose if it is three, by mistake, we type it two. So we can make it three. No problem. Okay. We can make it three. Similarly, anything is the rate 28,000 it is. Okay. If it is 27,500. So whatever errors are there, mistake, so that we can yeah, alter that. And then we can alter. Then enter the click. Control A, then at, till the end, go on pressing enter, enter, enter. So at the end, screen will be accepted. Instead of that, simply after making the alteration immediately, you press Control A. So it will be saved. The voucher will be saved. This is the first one. What is called? It is alteration. It is alteration screen. Okay. It is alteration. We are altering. We can alteration. We know in every topic, we got alteration. So this is altered. Alteration. Then next one, adding. Next one is add. Alteration next, add one. How to add? Adding in the sense, adding after a transaction. Adding after a transaction. For example, see here, second May is there. Second May. First May, second May. Okay. So here, for example, second May, here, there is one entry. So now if you make an entry for 2nd May, any entry, if you make, I, I mean, you go to vouchers, you go to vouchers, we know how to make entries, isn't it? So if you go to vouchers, if you go to voucher, if you record that transaction, definitely the transaction on any date, if you record, so that transaction will be added after the last entry. For example, so here, 2nd May. 2nd May. If you make an entry on 2nd May, so it will be added after 2nd May. After 2nd May. For example, I will take up. See here, we will take one particular voucher. F4, you take a payment. For example, you take a payment. See here. All the payments for the whole period yeah? here. This is the transactions only list of payment vouchers. See here. For example, all the payments only. Here. On 1st July, there are three entries. On 1st July, there are three entries. You see, first one is Ramakrishna, second one is Rahul Electronics, third, fourth one is, third one is rent. Suppose if we make another entry on 1st, so it will be added, added to the transactions at the end of the last transaction. That is, rent is the last transaction. Now our transaction will be the next one. So it is number 9. So our transaction will be number 10. And these numbers will change. So our transaction will become number 10 on first. So it will be added after the last transaction. That is simple. Mom is not adding. If you make entry, it will be added. Any date, if you make entry, so that entry will be added at the end, last uh, after the last entry on that date. So if on 1st of July, if you make an entry, that will be added after the rent. It's okay. It's just making entry instead of that. So there are three entries are there. See here. There is one entry, again one entry, again one entry. For example, instead of making a separate entry, now here, there is rent is the last entry. Before that, the entry is Rahul Electronics. Suppose if you want to add an entry after that transaction, that is, so this is eight number eight, and this is nine. This is nine the next day. Suppose if you want to add a transaction after this eight transaction, Another transaction with nine number. This nine will become ten. This nine will become ten. So in the, with this number, we have to add a transaction after number eight. That's why. Right. So here, in that case, what to do? Add. We have to add that. That is called adding. See here, after eight, we are adding. So after Rahul Electronics, we are adding. So rent will go down, and the new entry will be added here after that eighth. This transaction. After this transaction, we have to add. In such case, what we have to do is select the transaction after which we have to want to add. So after the eighth, we want to add the transaction. Okay. After the eighth, we want to add the transaction. Come to here. You see, Alt A if you press. Alt A. See here. This is number eight. So now after the eight, we have to add number nine before this number nine. This now this number will become ten. All this will change. So this will become 10. So nine number we are adding with this number, we are adding another transaction. If you if you type, suppose if you pass an entry, 
So it will be added after the rent and the number will be 10. The number will be 10. Here we are sitting. With this number, we are adding a transaction after number 8. So in such case, select the transaction. Click alter, that is alt A, alt A C on the same date. So number 8 is there. Now it is number 10. So in this 10, if you suppose if you select uh, Raghavendra Nadko, for example, Raghavendra Nadko, yeah? Raghavendra Nadko, we paid 20,000. 20, okay? 20,000 against difference, 1 lakh 50 balance is there. So 20,000 we paid. Okay. So we are paying cash only. If you are paying bank through bank, you let bank account, then give the bank details. So like this, we are transferring. So being cash paid on account, on account. We have to pay him. So we are paying on account. So cash paid on him, account him. Cash paid, account. So here. So here, if you pass a new entry, it will be added at the end of the last entry, as well as after that, that will be in the payment voucher only. After accepting the screen, then it will be, it will stay there only. It will not come out here. After making this, and addition after adding that again it is coming to the list of the vouchers it is coming to the payment vouchers you see here here raghavendra raghavendra and co we added so that raghavendra and co it became number nine and the rent became ten so number changed but before that nine we added with that number so we added with that number nine we added after after eight so we are adding after eight that's why it's called adding we are adding the transaction but not at the end of the last entry. Last entry is there, still there is there. But after there, before the end of the last entry, after one particular entry, we added. Okay, this is called adding. This is called add transaction. This is called add transaction. And another thing is, suppose, so here there are one, two, three, four entries. If, suppose if there is one entry, there is one entry. If you want to insert before this entry, if you want to enter before this number eight is there, with this number, if you want to enter before that, or you will take up another one. For example, second you will take up. Second, before that there is no entry, isn't it? So on this second, there is only one entry is there. If you want to add after this, we can make entry or we can say control A. So after that, with the next number, we will enter. But here is Number 10, 11, with this number, you want to insert, add before this number, before this, that is before Rahul Ranga Electronics, with this number, we will add a transaction. That is called not adding. It is called inserting because inserting before that. Next one, next to the transaction means it is called adding. Before the transaction means it is called inserting. So we want to insert, we want to insert before this, that is on second, on second itself, before this, with this number you have to insert. In that case, you select this, then you click Alt I. I means insert. See, what is the number here? Number 11. Number 11 is there on 12th, on 2nd July. So with this number, on second itself, before this, we want to add, not after this. So here, Alt I. I means insert. So here itself, for example, we are paying to... Uh, Mohit Enterprises. Mohit Enterprises. We are paying to Mohit Enterprises. See here. Mohit Enterprises, we are paying 2000 for example. We are paying. This is on account. There is no balance. This is on account we are paying. See here, credit. We are paying cash. Okay. See here. On July, Ranga Enterprises, that is as it is, but number is changed. With that number, we are inserted before that. So we inserted before that. Previously, in the previous case, after this number, we added. You now here, before this number, we are inserting. This is called insert. That is, this is called insert. That is, Alt I we use for adding, Alt A for inserting before that number. For inserting, it is we add, we use that Alt I. Okay, inserting. And after that, after inserting, duplication. After inserting, duplication. How to duplicate? What is meant by duplication? Duplication means, so when you are making some payments regularly, every, every month you are paying, instead of passing entry, everything every month, 
simply we can duplicate this month entry we can duplicate so again it will be duplicate entry will come so we change the date it will be the next month date so for example you see rent we are paying 31st july 31st august again on 31st september you have to pay instead of passing the entry simply this can be duplicated this can be duplicated and we have to change date that's called duplication so for duplication what you have is alt and number 2 not f2 not f2 see here f2 is different alt f2 is different alt f2 is for changing the period here here with duplicating means alt number 2 so alt number 2 see the same see here actually this is number 15 isn't it so this 15 is duplicated here alt 2 here what is the date here 31st August. So next month you have to pay. So that for next month, what is that? 30th? 30th, you will not get it, for example. First October, I'll get. See, is that August means September 30, 30 will this education version that it will not take 30. So first October, I will take. First October. I will take first October. Then just save with this. Save. See, first October rent number is it is showing 15. When you clicked Alt F2, you showed 15 only. But the, the that when you change the date, this 15 is for 31st August. When you change the date for next month, it became 16. See, for the next month, it is becoming. And sometimes, sir, so 1st October. Next month, next again for the month of October, on 31st October, you have to pay the rent, isn't it? Again, you see here, again duplicate here. The first 31st October. And just to see, accept, it will save. For example, if the amount also changes, so for example, it becomes 2,500. So that also will change and accept this. Accept the, see, now you see, 31st October, number 17, 2,500. Like that, but actually, this is simply for one entry. We need that duplicate. We can pass the entry at that time, is it? But why? This, this is used means in the case of a payment to in the case of a payment to many expenses or anything in the case of payment same payment for multiple purpose like what you call you can say it as compound entry for example you are paying salary salaries you are paying to the x y z a b c d is it again so instead of every month passing entry salaries account we are writing salaries payment entry or general we write payment i mean say i mean what you call salaries, it will be debited. And to so and so person, to X, to Y, to Z, instead of write, writing that. So every month, instead of typing that, in such case, if one entry, one month end, end of the month, if you duplicate that, next month, if you amount will be the same generally, salary. So if you duplicate and can change the date, so the same entry will be printed there. That is, same entry will be accepted there. So instead of, you save some time. Instead of entering all the details, all the payments, that is all the name of the employees, simply duplicate it to take one minute. So that is why the duplication is useful to save the time. Okay, this is duplication. So first alteration, the alteration is similar to any case. Okay, alteration, then adding, add, then insert, then duplicate, and then Next one is, next one is, next one is, I'm taking all the entries. Okay. Next one is, I told you, I think I'll read. So if you want to go to the last transaction, click end. If you want to go to the top, again, click home. Okay. Now here, next one is deletion and delete or, so for anything, see here, if you want to delete, so first of all, you will take up here, take voucher type, select sales, select sales. This is more important. And uh, in the case of all the invoices, I mean, all the entries except sales, then we will discuss next time. We will discuss it again. So this is the sales. See how many? For example, if you take uh, this one, if you take only, uh, I mean, uh, narration, it will show. So this is the list of sales vouchers. These are all sales vouchers. See here, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five. So there are five vouchers, all sales, five vouchers. So if you want to delete, 
See here, for example, if you want to delete number three, if you delete number three, so how you will delete? Alt D. So it will ask delete yes or no. Okay. So it will ask. And if you click yes, so it will be deleted. But in this case, if it is deleted, the next watches will come one step forward. One step, it will come. Because four will come to the place of three, five will come to the place of four. That is one number, they will come back. Okay. In such a case, this is since sales vouchers, we have given these are invoice numbers. All these invoices are given to our customers. So when the change number is changing, so in their books, the number will be different. In our books, the number will be different. Isn't it? That is why we should not, we should not delete any transaction in this sales vouchers. Other transactions can delete no problem. Even if the transaction number changes, it is not a problem. Here, the transaction number is, the voucher number is, the voucher number is invoice number in the sales vouchers. That is why we should not transfer. In other cases, no problem. There are payments, incomes, payments, receipts are there. If you delete one payment, then no problem. The next payment will come to come forward. Only the voucher number will change. It is not invoice, voucher number. So there's no problem if the voucher number changes. But here, here in the sales vouchers, voucher number means invoice numbers. Okay. So here it will change. For example, I will take up here, see number three, I will delete. If I delete number three, Alt D. So yes. So I told you, see how many? Four, five. So four will come to the place of three, five will come to the place of four. See here. So delete. So yes, see here, three gone. So number four, it has come to three. Number last one, fifth one, it came to fourth place, fourth number four. So like this, the numbers will come, come forward. In such case, it will be a problem. The numbers will be different in our books and in the books of the customers since we have already issued the this. That is why in this sales voucher, so deletion you understood now. In this sales voucher, you should never delete. We have to only cancel. If you cancel that, that voucher will be canceled without affecting the numbers of other vouchers. For example, number two. In the case of number two, we want to cancel. If it is the transaction is cancelled. So generally what we do, say if there's no transaction means just simply immediately we delete the transaction. We should never delete in the case of sales vouchers. So here in the case of this number two, so we have to cancel. It will not affect. If you cancel that, the three, four will not change. They will be as it is. So in that case, the voucher will be cancelled. There will be only empty voucher. Okay. So number two we will. So for what you call for cancelling that, we have to use alt, alt X. We have to use con deleting Alt D. So it will be deleted. Now we have to use Alt X. See here. I am putting Alt X. See here. Cancel. It is previously when you delete, delete question mark. Delete or not? Here. Cancel or not? Say yes. So it is cancelled. See here. So this is cancelled. The next vouchers, they are unaffected. So their numbers did not change. Only this is cancelled. See here, it is showing cancelled. If you enter this, enter this, so there will be, this is shows us cancelled and the total voucher will be empty. The voucher will be empty. Okay. And thereafter, this voucher number we can use and we can issue to other people that we will talk later. Okay. So like this, if you cancel this, the voucher will be cancelled and it will become empty voucher and all other next vouchers, they will not be affected. This is called deletion and cancellation. Okay. Deletion and cancellation. Now we will take up, in the case of deletion, we will take up another thing, some more item graphic is there. Here, so all other cases, except sales invoices, all other all other transactions, except sales, all other transactions can be deleted. Purchase also can be deleted because the purchases here, this is the number three. Number three is not the invoice. Number three is our purchase serial number. If it changes, there is no problem. The serial, I mean, the supplier invoice number will not change. Okay, the serial number will change. There is no problem. Similar is the case for all the, I mean, all the types of vouchers, except sales. Sales means the number, this is the three means, the three is num, sales means, three means it is invoice number. Because when you are selling, we issue invoices with those numbers. 
Okay, so here. So in this case, we can select and delete any transaction except sales. Okay, so now if you so here, there is one payment, rent is one payment is there. Payment. Suppose if you want to delete this, no problem. There is another payment is there next. So this is 14. Next payment is 15. And again payment, again payment. All this will come for back and this will come to this place. This will come, like that number will change. But there is no problem. So for example, here we are selecting. So we can enter. The voucher will open or simply select here. Here or entering that opening the voucher. Alt D. Alt D means delete. So yes. So it is deleted. It is deleted. So if you want to delete a transaction with the downward up arrow or with the mouse, with the mouse, one, one, any one entry. So with the mouse, we can select. With the mouse, we can select any entry and we can delete. Suppose if we want to delete more than one transaction, suppose if you want to delete five transactions, this is one transaction, this is one transaction, this is one transaction, and this is a one received transaction. This transaction, if you want to delete. So in that case, we cannot select all. Suppose if you want to delete this, we can select this, we can delete. Suppose if you want to select two or three, this one, and again this one. If you select the other one, this will go. So at a time, we cannot select all this one. Suppose, so that's why if you want to select more than, select and delete more than one voucher, in that case, we have to use this up and down arrows plus we have to add, we have to use space bar. For example, so this one we want to delete. Press space bar. So it is selected. So it will not change. Then we have to see, we want to delete this. So this is not deselected. It is there. And there also again, you, you select, you press space bar. It is also selected. So you select this also, selected or uh, received or purchase anything, selected. See here, we selected four vouchers. So if you see four vouchers, if you want to delete, we will press Alt D. What it will ask you? Delete question mark. It will not ask. It will ask you delete selected. That is, do you want to delete all the selected vouchers? If you click yes, all vouchers will be deleted. If you click no, they will not be deleted. So all are selected. They will be selected at a time. Suppose, so now you want to deselect. If you want to deselect one one. So click, see click, escape. All this will be deselected. All this will be deselected. Or see here. Payment, 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 payment. So what you did, if you press escape, all will be deselected. Suppose in these four, this one by mistake we selected. So that is to be, that is only one needs to be deselected, not others. If you press escape, all will be deselected. If you want to deselect one, again select that, then again press space bar. So it's a, it is deselected. So select with space bar, Deselect with space bar. Like that, you can select any numbers. If you want to deselect one, you can deselect with space bar. If you deselect all, you need not deselect each one with space bar. Just click that you press escape. All will be deselected. All will be deselected. Okay. So now, understand now how to select, how to delete, select more than one, deselect out of them, one out of the many, or deselect all. Suppose now, if you want to select all the vouchers, if you want to select all the vouchers, in that case, you see going here, selecting, again going here, selecting, going here, selecting, like that one by one, one by one, with the help of space bar, you need not select. So here, if you want to select, see here, for each one we are selecting with the help of space bar, isn't it? Now here, control space bar, all will be selected. You want to select all the vouchers, you use control along with space bar. For only one, you can select space bar or another one space bar. Okay. But deselect escape. If you want to select all the vouchers with the help of this space bar, control plus space bar, control and space bar, control and space bar, all will be selected. And you can deselect all with the help of escape. 
Understand? So like this, we can do, we can delect, we can insert everything, alteration, delay, I mean adding, then inserting, then duplicating, then selecting more than one vouchers with the help of my space bar, selecting more than one and deselecting any one of them among them or selecting all the vouchers with the help of control space bar. And delete means if you press Alt D, that will be, the all will be deleted. Okay. But in the case of sales, we should not delete. Remember. So if you select all will be, and then you see if you help of this one, if the help of this, so control and space bar, you select it all. But sales, you should not select. As far as scales is concerned, so again, deselect with the help of this space, count only space bar. And again, there is one cell. In one more cell, deselect. And now there is one more cell, deselect. Only the sales, select that and press space bar. So that will be deselected. So like this, you can deselect sales. Sales, you should not delete. So all others are selected. Now if you press Alt D, all will be deleted except sales. Sales will not be deleted because we delete, we deselected only the sales. So this is, you watch this video once more again, you can understand very well. Okay, so with this, I am closing this topic is completed. Okay, now with this, we have completed most of the portion because the best portion we completed and after that, with the help of GST and all this will be very easy because the same thing will be repeated extra with GST Darshan. Okay, now here we completed up to the creating the company, creating ledgers, then creating stocks, groups, stock items, then creating and after that, uh, selecting the correct voucher and recording the transactions in the respective vouchers, we completed recording. And after recording, how to see all the transaction in all the vouchers at one place, that is the option in Debu, that is the report. So that we selected that. So recorded transactions, then I mean, uh, the report of the transactions in the Debu. Now, in recording the transactions, recording means, one account will be debited, one account will be credited, whether single entry mode or double entry mode. One is debit, one is credit. That means in every transaction, there are two accounts. So that means in all the vouchers, we recorded many transactions and all are seen at one place in the day book. So that means in the day book, on all the transactions, there are a lot of accounts. There are a lot of accounts, isn't it? So now you saw the reports. So all the accounts there in the day book, it will show only one account. If it will show only one account. So if you want to see the left hand row, Alt F5. Alt F5, if you press Alt F5, that the second account also will be displayed. So that means there are two accounts for every transaction. That means on the whole report, there are many transactions. So next one, ledger. How to now daybook you are using and configuring. Now ledgers, ledger means accounts in the what you call in the manual accounting, we call them accounts. These accounts in the tally are called as ledgers. In manual accounting also, we call them as ledger account. Here they are called as, each account is called a ledger. Ledger accounts are simply ledgers. So now here, next topic will be, how to configure and how to use, how to use the reports relating to the accounts. Here relating to the, all the reports we have taken, all the vouchers. Now we have to report accounts, payment vouchers, I mean, uh, debtors report, creditors report, and bank report, like this. We want to see many ledgers through the reports. So that is the next topic. And after that ledgers, ledgers are under the accounting. See in the gateway of tally, first one is accounting in the, you, you go to uh, this one, I will show you, next tomorrow I will show. So if you go to alter function, Accounting vouchers will be there, then accounting, then inventory, the accounting masters, inventory masters, all will be there. Statutory details will be there now. So the accounting masters means all ledgers. So that we are discussing now. Next step. And after that, we have to discuss about the reports relating to the inventory also. That is called stock summary, stock reports, all this. With this, major completely 
the course is completed and after that you will go to the advanced i mean what you call it uh, this one final reports so after completing this we will go to the reports final reports that is trading and profit and loss account balance sheet this tally will prepare that automatically that how to analyze and how to view that and do how to analyze the balance sheet profit and loss account all these things and with that that everything completed regarding to end of end of the circle end of the accounting circle means preparing the final reports okay at this and we will do some problems and after that next one is all these transactions which we did all the work which we did we will do with along with gst enabling the gst features taxation features in the f11 we enabled accounting features and inventory features so far and after enabling the gst features and that is taxation features means gst tds after enabling that the same thing we will do with the help of that including the taxation also now we are putting not giving the sales voucher we are giving, we are not charging any tax so then we will use the taxation also with that will we will, will have we will learn lot of knowledge and after that, types of uh, what you call registered persons types of gst and all this we will learn okay with this i am stopping this and you i think you will follow this videos as i told you in the systematic way i prepared you also follow the systematic way and you gain expert knowledge okay now and all i am requesting you please subscribe to my channel my many people just watching that they are not subscribing okay so subscribe my channel and click the bell icon and select all then you will get notification for all the videos which i upload okay and then share the channel with all your friends then when you are viewing this watching the videos every video you watch till the end if you stop at the middle i mean skip the video the balance subject matter you will not learn okay so if you even if you skip it and after coming back again start from there and complete that word what to call the video uh, then only you will get the full knowledge okay and after seeing that if it is good you like the video you like the video click the thumb you like the video and then you post a comment because what is your idea about the particular video so you post a comment then i will understand how you are receiving okay if there is any problem if there is anything to be changed because how is my teaching if there is anything to be changed in my teaching so i will change it so all this we will know so commenting is a very important factor okay that is only communication between you and us you, you and me okay that's why you post the comment also so with this i hope you understood so wish you all the best good night meet in, we'll meet in the next video bye